Welcome back to the Stevenage Sheet Metal Super 1 British Karting Championships. Our Army Cadet is up next for drivers from nine years of age and a rookie in the championship who had a great round last time is a young man alongside me. It's Finn Keneally. Now, Finn at Rowry, you had a fantastic result, two podiums, uh, particularly because you, you had a, a poor Saturday, I think, didn't you, in one of the heats? Yeah, really happy to get um, second place in the final, considering this bad heat on Saturday. Uh, I just managed to get to third in the final and managed to get second on the last lap. So third in the pre-final, second in the uh, main final. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself then. How old are you? I'm 11 years old. And how long have you been casting for? Uh, just over a year, about a year and three months now. So once again, that's quite amazing. You, that's a little bit like Jonathan Hoggard in Minimax has only been racing for a year and is right at the front of the field already. So you've only been around a year. Uh, were you doing anything before that? Uh, well, no, no, not really. I did a bit of indoor karting before I started, but then we found our local kart track and went there. So you've only been karting a year, you're straight into Super 1 and right at the front of the field. Uh, this will be your last year in cadet, I know. What are you hoping to achieve in the championship this year overall? I'd like to get a top five in the championship this year. And you didn't have the best first round, did you? So uh, you've got a few few places to make up but um, if you continue with that sort of performance from round two then uh, you could be right in amongst the mix I guess. Yeah really good. So the Ayami Cadet grid for drivers from nine years of age Teddy Wilson and Kian Jewis on the front row with Lewis Thompson and Johnny Edgar on row two Alex McDade and Tom Wood for row three keep an eye on Finn Keneally the rookie starts ninth for this one and there's plenty of other drivers further down the grid looking to make their impression keep an eye in particular on Albert Carter on the last row of the grid he could be surging through right from the get-go and we are off here at Glanny Gorse Park into the first corner it looks like Wilson's got a clean getaway Jewis is under pressure from Thompson already and Johnny Edgar has ironically been left out to dry in the drizzly conditions. Dragon straight, 220 metres from turn one to this turn two as they get into turn two right here. They lose 500 revs as it goes up over that little rise. Ooh, Jewis is losing about two or three places. Sorry there, Alan. He's losing a good two or three positions. He was in second place. He's down to about fourth position as they make their way down the straight. Wilson is out in front. Thompson there in second position as they make their way through the carousel for the first time. Brilliant pictures from the helicam as they make their way up towards the compression complex. They're Triple right-hander, and it is Wilson from Thompson in third position, making his way back up. I think that is, well, it's uh, Jewis behind Wood. Uh, sorry, Alex McDade, I should say, in uh, third position. McDade has moved himself into the podium for the moment. There are yellow flags on the far side of the circuit as they make their way into Paddock for the first time. And across the line once more, Jewis is really going to have to work hard here to get himself back into the top three. Fantastic shots from the helicam once more up the Dragon Straight. It is uh, Wilson that leads it. Got a great start, did uh, Teddy Wilson. It's Thompson in second place, McDade and then Jewis. Lots of overtaking moves on the run to the spoon for the second time. Holding himself at the back of the grid there, Dominic Bush just trying to make his way up through the order brilliant pictures of the battle for the lead it looks as though Thompson got it a little bit wrong on the run to the carousel and this could be the opportunity in fact no he's not only got it wrong Alex McDade the man from Huddersfield the 2012 MBKC champion has put himself into second position great move there from Alex McDade and it looked like Kian Jewis is ready to pounce inside. on Thompson yes he gets through into third place he gets past the 11 year old Lewis Thompson and up into third position so Jewis is on the charge Finn Keneally on the 30 cart, started ninth, is up to eighth, make that seventh as we go through turn one. That's the 99 cart of George Price, Jake. He is out clearly. Yeah, a little further into the race, we can check out some of the best moves. Here's Wood making his lunge into third position at club corner. Got that one absolutely spot on. Later on into the race, of course, and uh, Rufus Hunt oh, uh -oh. just got shoved wide almost there. And he manages to make his route across oh. the grass and get himself back into position. Meanwhile, I, Alex McDade is in the lead. Oh, and, and Rufus had made up a lot of places from the back of the field, Jake, and he's just lost them all in one unfortunate instant there. He's got it all to do again. Great shots, these, aren't they? Absolutely brilliant. We can see the real ebb and flow dynamic of this race. This is uh, the battle for the lead. A little bit further on in the race, no changes at the front of the field. Back live it is McDade that has a lead from Wilson. And we've got... Uh... Oh, Wilson looks like he's popping up to try and make a move on McDade. I think he might have just got him on the run to Spoon. Did he get through? 
Very tricky to tell. There's a great battle. Yeah, yes, did. Wilson is in front. Brilliant move. He lined him up nicely on the run to Spoon, popped up the inside, and that victory was, it, it, well, it's now looking his for the taking at the moment. It's not done yet, of course, but it's going to be very, very interesting to see who gets this one between Wilson and McDade. And they are nine tenths of a second, very nearly a full second back to Kean Jewis in third. Can he make up that ground? He may do if the leaders keep battling. Oh, the 12 cart just coming into the picture there, Jake. Looks like he's in 15th place, starting at the back of the field. So Albert Carter on the 12, <laughs> made up half the field. Absolutely astonishing. Albert Carter never ceases to amaze me in the cadets. He is absolutely brilliant, going through the field like a pair of scissors through newspaper at the moment, just charging his way through. I think, his, I think his dad did some racing in the back of the day, didn't he? Well, he was uh, one of the biggest stars in uh, world and European drag racing, of course. So he comes from a, a very... Uh, famous family in the world of British motor racing. Meanwhile, back at the front, it looks as though Alex McDade is lining move. up Teddy Wilson and looks a move like, further back. Looks like it was that Robertson, I think that was, coming down the inside, was it? Certainly was. Up to fifth position then goes Zach Robertson, passing Lewis Thompson and a brilliant battle. We've got uh, three pairs of drivers squabbling for positions. A battle for first, battle for third and a battle for fifth place, which is now all of a sudden becoming a six-car train. In fact, the leading battle is becoming a four-car train. There's Tom Wood trying to make his impression on Jewis for third position as we follow the leading battle. This still could play out between any one of the top ten drivers. It looks to me, though, as though all of a sudden Wilson has got a bit of space between himself and McDay. That is crucial at this point. Here this could be Jewish. a move. Yes, Jewish trying to push his way forward past Wood, and they are scrapping for second place. Here are some of the race highlights. So much action in this one. Have to go to the highlight reel. That's uh, Zach Robertson making a move. Yeah, he got past Wood there, this and this is Jewis finally making that move to first position. Now consider he's sitting in. Uh, Second position at the moment, but what, oh, what about that? Move. Straight move great and move. Wood. Wood goes to second as yep. well. Absolutely terrific stuff. This is typical GYG. Great scrapping, but Wood was not done yet. Into the inside, he charges his way through, and Wilson gets by as well. Absolutely fantastic scrap in the Ayami Cadets. It doesn't really get better than this, and in the midst of all of that, Alex McDade decides, right, I'm going to make my move to fourth position. Wilson pushes his way through too. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. All action, plenty happening. Jewish uh, back into second place. Oh, make that first as he comes down the inside. And uh, here comes McDay for third. Wood's gone into second, McDay to third. Wilson's dropped down into about fifth position. Talk about scrapping. This is magnificent, and there was more to come. Into the spoon once again. Edgar wasn't done. Back up into third position, and Wilson got through two into fourth place. Or more drama on the run to club corner. Thompson then made his move back up the order as he got Alex McDade for fifth position. And we're still not done yet. <laughs> so much action and just not enough time to show it all. So we had to go to this highlight reel. Edgar to second place. Wilson to third. It's all, all happening. It's a Jewish out front. Here's another move. Wood to third place this time. All action in this Army Cadet race. Thompson through Robertson to, through to well, fifth. Thompson through to McDade fourth. Robertson, McDade. Wilson has just been. Oh, he's been mullered, Wilson. Absolutely, he's been pushed aside. And here's Zach Robertson losing out big time here as well. Luke, you just got to. Hung out to try around the outside. He's got three, four carts up the inside. Yep, and Wilson trying to make progress. But Robertson, how about that? He Gets held his position around the outside. And we are live with two to go here. And the, 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 the scrap is still on. Big stuff as they go. We've got about 10 carts in a line here going for victory. Wilson trying to signal to the six. Uh, that is Johnny Edgar trying to push the momentum forward. They're trying to keep up with the leaders here. But it's Kean Jewis who leads it at the moment. Oh, Tom is, is second. Thompson is there in third Bottom position. Down the hill, defending by Jewis. Down the hill, is oh, there's only one. How many is in this? 10, 12? About, about a dozen of them, all in with a shout of victory here at GYG with a lap and a half to go. And Tom Wood is determined. He is absolutely Oh, Jewis has got the, the curb on the inside. What? Woods one right as well. That's oh, all. Oh, contact. contact. Tom Let. Wood goes off the road just having. Oh, oh it's all Dade. kicking off. It's all kicking off here. Collected. McDade and Wood. Oh, he's collected. McDade as he's come back on the track. And ironically, it was uh, McDade that just tagged Wood, knocked him off onto the grass, and, and then now Wood. We, and now we can throw a blanket oh, over yeah. the battle for third position. Anybody in it? Three wide through club. Let's have a look at this again. 
Yeah, now what happens here is McDade comes down the inside. He's going to slide. Look, he's sliding on the oh, wet. There was nothing McDade could have done about that. He's, he's not Wood off, but now here comes the irony. Wood's going to come straight back on and collects Bang. the man that's knocked him off in the first place, and it slowed them both down. Hang now minute. Wood's carried on, Hang but McDade while has stopped. While we're watching the replay, Thompson is now leading. <laughs> Lewis Thompson has got himself into the lead. There yeah, he is. through Look, turn he's, one. He's leading. Absolutely incredible. Albert Carter, we're just looking there at the caption. He's moved up 16 places but Thompson is in the lead Rufus Hunt has come through 13 places on his side. I told you to keep an eye on that back of the grid but what an incredible battle yeah, in the I army cadets it looks like Thompson is gonna get this from Jewis into the final turn he's got plenty of time on his hands yes Thompson just hangs on from Jewis brilliant battle absolutely incredible drivers going side by side all the way through here and uh, very great finishes across the line absolutely incredible looks like Bayern oh, is just gonna hang battle. on here oh he's just got oh. it for 19th amazing Teddy third place today can you talk us through your race uh, yeah it was a really good race in the end really happy third it's good points and um, well towards the end I dropped back to about ninth and then I made my way back up throughout like last two laps and ended up third so really happy with the result at the start, I had to push with Tom to get up there, and then at the last few stages of the race, we got in the lead and started defending, come to the last lap, didn't defend going on to the straight. Lewis got up the inside, a really good move, and then across the last lap, we started catching, but then it just were not enough to win the race. But I'd like to thank everyone at Tony Kart for an amazing kart, and Dan Hart at AIM and JS, and my mum and dad for bringing me everywhere and my sponsors can be leasing. Um, the race was good. Uh, we didn't have the best of starts and we went down to about seventh and then we made our way back up and then the last lap I overtook Kean and uh, managed to keep hold for the win. I'd like to thank David Bell Chambers, Paul Wilkins, my mechanic Alistair Goss, my mum and dad and everyone else who supported me through the weekend. Well, Lewis Thompson getting his groove on there in the interview, but Kian Jewis still at the top of the table with Johnny Edgar and Teddy Wilson battling for second position. Thompson, Wood and Finn Keneally, the rookie, round out the top six. This is going to be an epic encounter for the remainder of the 2014 campaign in Ayami Cadet. Plenty more to come from a very wet Glanagorse Park. Promises to be action all the way, but then that's Super 1 for you. Join us after the break.